They are called the forever chemicals. Per and polyfluoride alkali substances, also known as PFAS, is a family of thousands of chemicals found in everyday objects, such as food packaging. They are in our bodies and in nature, but you may not be familiar with them, and you are not alone. These French tourists have never heard of them, nor have the Americans. This is the first time this man's heard the term, despite being born in 1929. Recently, nine European NGOs analysed about 40 types of food packaging sold in the EU. About 30 of them had been treated with PFAS. In paper or cardboard packaging, it is an anti-fat or anti-stain use to avoid a fat halo forming on the bag of chips, for example, or to avoid getting your fingers dirty. So it has a very limited advantage compared to a possible risk of contamination of the consumer's body. The potential harmfulness of these substances is debated by the scientific community. The European Food Safety Authority takes the risk seriously. In the next 10 years, it has divided the tolerable dose of PFAS by 1,700, these researchers told Euronews. In the perinatal period, the mother might be exposed and therefore there might be consequences for the offspring. We have cases of the appearance of cancers, effects on the thyroid glands and effects that will reduce the immune system. We even think that during the recent vaccination campaigns, the effects could have been lessened if we were exposed to this type of compound. The manufacturers we contacted did not respond to our request for an interview. With the exception of Tetra Pak, the world's leading designer of food packaging, which has increased its efforts to produce more environmentally friendly products. Tetra Pak has thousands of packaging references. There are no PFAS in Tetra Pak's packaging except for a few exceptions. They are in such minimal qualities that they are well below what concerns the European authorities today. The company is committed to phasing out PFAS in the near future. Other packaging producers might be required to do so by law in the next decade. The European Commission announced at the end of April that it was considering a gradual ban on certain uses of PFAS as part of a major review of chemical legislation currently being negotiated between Brussels and the member states.